is up y'all it's Deej with Deej Fishes if you're hearing my voice right now that means you're tuning in and I really appreciate you for that uh, we have a banger of a video today we went to Martinez Lake for the AKBA tournament 60 kayak anglers came out to compete I was able to take ninth and had a blast doing it uh, unfortunately they only paid out first through eighth place but it's all right we had a good time this video has two days of fishing in it the first day we pre-fished on the Wednesday before the tournament and we got on a chatterbait bite that was just a blast on this exact chatterbait the Z-Man Jackhammer and Brett's Bluegill with a 10,000 fish Yodo worm on the back of it that's one of my favorite chatterbait trailers uh, we caught a bunch of fish on beds that day too uh, but then on the tournament day, that chatterbait bite was basically non-existent. But we were able to figure out that they wanted the jerk bait that day. I got on one of the most fun jerk bait bites I've been on, and I can't even remember how long. Uh, on a six cents provoke, this exact one in the bloodline color. The water is super clear out there, and the fish were coming from 20 feet away to eat the jerk bait, so it was a blast to watch. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's basically 20 minutes of straight fish catches. It starts off with me catching some bed fish where we missed the hook set on camera, but then it just picks up from there. So again, thank you guys very much for tuning in and I hope you enjoy. Found our first little bed fish, guys. Just threw a Senko over there and she choked it. It's a good fish, just like a 17 incher. There you go. Oh yeah, dude. Right in the roof of the mouth with the Senko. Look at that. Beauty of a fish. Guarding the bed, that's a big male. All right, buddy. Back to your bed. It always feels good to get to a new lake and catch a fish. We're over at Squaw Lake. practicing for the Martinez tournament. I don't know what what they call it and on the map. It's like Janyo Jamshri. It's a weird name, but on the sign it says Squaw Lake. And so I'm gonna mark some waypoints today. This is a Wednesday. The tournament is this Saturday. So I'm gonna try to find some big fish on beds. We're gonna catch a couple. We're gonna mark a couple and hopefully we'll have a good plan for Saturday. Another one right in the same area, guys. Man, this is gonna be a fun tournament on Saturday. Nice fish on the Senko again. Boom, another one. Well, I might just bring one rod and just the Senko next tournament. I probably can't see it because of the, the lens I'm using, but like a quarter of a really vibrant rainbow right here. That's beautiful. And I'm missing every hook set today. I worked this fish for like five, ten minutes. I know what we're bringing tournament day. Senko for sure. God, these fish are so pretty. This clear water, they're so golden. Uh-oh, I'm all wrapped up. Senko, boom. Too easy. There he is, pretty boy. Oops. Oh, yeah. Let him go back to his bed. 
Let's get out of here. This area is loaded. All right, guys. So we're going up this channel up to, uh, I believe it's called Senator Wash. We're going against the current right now, it looks like. So that'll make it nice and easy when we come back. So far, we found some silty. I don't even know if that's the right one. There's a fish. Just gonna go ahead and flip you up in here, buddy. Woo. Gotta love when you get interrupted by a fish. Boom, chatterbait against the reeds. Smoked that. Oh, there's another bass chilling right here. Oh my God, they're just hanging out, waiting to eat stuff coming down the current. That was awesome. Little guy. Chatter bait eater, another two and a half pounder. It's getting windy out here. Bait. It gets windy and cloudy, throw that spinner bait. Another solid fish. I think I found where we're gonna fish come tournament day. the chatterbait right off of that rock right there that where he should have been Fish, this little guy with the chatterbait. That's that time. Same time. All right. I don't know if 
you can see it, 645. Lines in is at 645 till 245. We're gonna start off with this jackhammer. Not running right. Guys, we're at the Mar Martinez Lake Tournament. Martinez slash Mitri Lake slash the whole Colorado River basically for like eight miles. I launched again at Squaw Lake or Zanyo Zamshri, whatever it's called. There's like 20 guys that launched here with me. So, so we got some, uh, some competition here. 60 guys in this tournament, so the bag should be pretty nice. I had some fish on beds over here when we pre-fished, so we're going to hit this area with a chatterbait and then come back through with a Senko. It's a good fish, guys. Oh my god, it's a good fish. Yeah. First fish, guys. On the jerk bait. This is a good fish too. Let's go. Alright, our first fish of the day came on that provoke. I love this color, this silver and red. Super unique. The fish love red this time of year. That fish went 17 and 3 quarter inches. Came right out of a tree too. With 20 guys launching at, at the same launch as me, I thought for sure that this little backwater was going to be full. There were so many fish back here last time, so hopefully we can catch a few. I just, I can't believe no one's here. There's grass, this is just a big, this backwater is just a big bowl. And there's grass everywhere in the middle. Good fish. Oh, good one guys. A good one. Oh, yes, the provoke putting in work for us. Let's go. Went 16 inches, guys. Let's go on the provoke again. I don't know what color this is. It's just silver with a red back, but it crushes. Second fish on the jerk bait. We need three more for a full bag. We got an 18 and we got a 16. And we got this whole section to ourselves. Let's go, guys. Wow, I just launched this jerk bait.
cooking this fish with this jerk bait for like 10 minutes, guys. This is a good one. Let's go, guys. Fish number four. Looking good. Probably another 16 and a half incher. The jerk bait stuck all in the net, but I got her again on that provoke. I was throwing my jerk bait over there and it kept flashing at it, but not eating it. Finally, after like 20 casts, maybe 30 casts, it went up and nipped the middle hook. I got her. Beautiful 17 incher guys. These fish want the jerk bait, even the ones that are right by me, I'll throw the jerk bait by them and they'll follow it. That one I was just far enough to where it couldn't see me. Yeah, guys. Ooh, thought I had him. There we go, guys. Fish number five. Let's go. No fish finder today. Pissed him off enough with that Ned rig, and he ate that thing. All right, fifth fish guys went 14 and three quarters. You gotta love the colors and the markings on these clear water fish. This guy was guarding his bed, so we're gonna put him back right by where he was, and there he goes, back to his bed. So when I'm bed fishing, guys, I mean, hands down, it's either a wacky rig or a little Ned rig, normally with the TRD craw on it. They, you know, you just throw it on their bed find that spot that pisses them off and you just leave it there just dead stick it and they're eventually going to come get it you know you want to stay out of sight as much as you can but they'll still eat it if they can see you but you know it's a lot easier to get them to eat if they're not looking right at you but once you get them to swipe at it a couple times once they start swimming in circles you know they're mad and it's just a matter of time it's just are you willing to wait them out or not we got a decent little limit right now, probably like 75 inches or so. So now we just need some upgrades. We need bigger than 15 inches each fish. We got another fish hot on our jerk bait. Oh my god, that was awesome! Oh my god, that was awesome, guys. Watched him come for it. It's a decent fish, too. Just let him pull me around with this jerk bait. That's why you gotta have a good jerk bait rod, nice and soft. Ugh. Guys, that was so awesome. This fish was cruising shallow. Followed my jerk bait out. I kept throwing back at it, it followed it like three more times. And then finally just swam over to it and blasted it. That was so cool to watch. All right, guys, boom. 17 inches even. Beautiful fish. 
beautiful fish. Let's go. I think we just got our best one of the day, guys, on a jerk bait again. Oh yeah, this is definitely our best one of the day. Look at this beauty of a fish. Let's go, guys. Guys, I can't remember the last time I got on a jerk bait bite this good. These fish are super shallow and running down this jerk bait. That last fish followed me out. I reeled it in, threw, it back, threw back behind him, and he smoked it. I have a bass hooked right here, but he's stuck in this weeds. Let's see if I can just net him. Yeah, Jesus. All right, guys, we ended up with eighty six and a half inches. It's a pretty decent day. Not a great day. Some people f caught some really big fish. So right now we're sitting in fifth, but another good 25 people need to enter their fish still. So I don't know if we'll place, but it was a really fun day. Super happy to be back on the water and actually catching fish and getting some footage for you guys. We launched at Squaw Lake. It's just on the other side of that hill is Senator Wash Reservoir. And uh, this here is called Squaw Lake or Zanyo Zamshur, it says on the map. It looks like a different language. But this place is a blast. It's right off of the Colorado River, just north of the Imperial Dam. All these channels are holding so many fish, and then they're all bedding right now. Main thing that was working for me today was that jerk bait, that Provoke Six Cents, and with that red top and silver sides. And then we caught a few on a Ned rig on a TRD craw, just bed fishing. So it was a really fun day. We'll see how we'll, we'll see how we shape up. You know, it'd be cool to be top 10 out of the uh, 60 people that competed, but there's uh, a lot of guys still need to enter fish. So we'll see. But thanks for coming along with me and watching me on another little journey.